Hi everybody, this is Diane uh, from Material Girl 338. I'm making a special dish tonight. I'm making steak pizza oil, and I'm making it the way my father used to make it. And what I have here is I got some olive oil, and I'm browning my onions, and I put some, about four or five cloves of minced garlic. And these are the Scalfani tomatoes. They're the blue can. If you find these or you see them in the supermarket, buy them. They are delicious. These, out of all the tomatoes that I use, this would be number one. Because the quality of this tomato is excellent. Now, I think it comes two ways. It comes... No, I, no, I see this can. But if you see the one with the paper on it, don't buy it because it's different. Though only you want the one that has the metal on it. So I'm making the sauce right now for the steak pizza oil. And hold on a second. Okay, let's go that. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water into this. And I'm only using one can. So you want, with this dish, you want the um, sauce to cook first. And I'm going to put some basil in here, some fresh basil. a little bit and what I do guys is I freeze my basil you know I, I grow it in the summertime and then I wash it clean it and then I freeze it I got a lot of basil So I'm adding two chunks of that. These tomatoes are so good. They're very low in uh, acid, like I noticed. Because when, if I use uh, other brands, I really have to, um, you know, doctor it. I have to doctor it up. I have to put baking soda in it. And uh, I put sugar in anyway. I put sugar in my sauce. Not a lot, just a little bit. So you just put, that's it for this. And then I'll taste it a little later on. So I'm using ribs. These are two beautiful rib steaks. And I added some salt already to the onions, and I added a little bit of pepper when they were when they were sauteing in the pan. And when I make the dish, I'll show you. This has got to cook for about maybe 45 minutes, okay? And then I'll show you um, the next step. Hey friends, I'm back. So I took a piece of fat from the steak and I'm coating my pan. I put some garlic, minced garlic, on on one side of the steak. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sear it right now. And take a dish, put it on the side. When you sear a steak or you sear meat in the uh, frying pan, don't move it. If you don't move it, it doesn't stick. So 
take in another some more uh, garlic, some more minced garlic. So I'm going to take some garlic, I'm going to just slice it up, and I'm going to just put it in the underneath of the pan. You want this on high. to sear each side. I know my, my screen has got, it's been beat up. The screen has definitely been beat up, but it serves its purpose. I want you to be able to see, oops, I want you to be able to see. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I'm searing the steak now. In the back, I have my sauce cooked about a good 45 minutes, and I added a little bit of burgundy wine into the sauce, because I'm going to be using the sauce to go into the steak to say oh. So I'm just peeling some garlic right now. Because as you're cooking the steak, you want to slice some garlic. And what I did was, I took um, some fat from the meat, and I coated my frying pan. Um, and I used that instead. You know, I just put a little bit of olive oil, not, not a lot, just a little bit. So, when you're frying the meat, when you're frying the meat, when you're searing it, the best thing to do is don't touch it. Put it in the pan, leave it alone, and it will sear. If you keep on moving it and pressing it and turning it, the meat will stick to the pan. And you want to get a nice um, sear to it. So I only have three seasonings out. I have my garlic powder, my onion powder, and my oregano. So on top of the steak, now what does this smell like oregano? On top of the steak, I, uh, I'm putting oregano. No, that's rosemary. This dish tastes really good when you use fresh ingredients. I just sprinkled some oregano and just a little bit of the garlic, I mean the onion powder. Okay? I'm going to take it out because it's going to cook again. It's going to cook again. When I put the when I put the steaks back in, All right? So this is gonna I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic. So just take some garlic and slice it, try to slice it thin. And just coat the uh, outside. Okay, and I want to sprinkle some oregano on here. A little bit more garlic powder.
Let it sear. I'm trying not to dirty my stove, but like that's impossible when you're frying this. And I have some um, burgundy. This is a, it's not Chianti. I use um, for you. I use uh, Opichi Chianti. Uh, it is really good, and I use it for most of my dishes. I'm going to cover that. And this has got a sear. You want to kind of like mash the garlic on top of the, the steak. I need to open up some doors. Open up the front door. Meanwhile, I have my sauce, which is really cooked. Put the muscle, a little bit more. I don't know what to do with that. And the oregano really gives it a good flavor. Just add a little wine to here. This is kind of thick. So this steak is done. I'm going to put the other steak back in. Remaining juice. Now, I would cover, I would shut The gas off when you're putting wine in, because you just don't know what you know. Okay, and now you're going to add the sauce. And this is making a mess Whoop. on my stove. Now put this on low. It's too high. Alright, let this cook a little bit. And that's my microwave. Alright. Alright guys, this is gonna cook a little bit. Not too much because the steaks, you don't want to make the steaks well done. Put this piece back in. This is really cooked because you want the steaks are going to cook because of the hot, the hot, uh, you know, 
frying pan. So, that's it. That's how you make steak pizza I owe. Sicilian recipe. My father made the best steaks. He was a steak lover. He used to work in New York. And he used to work uh, down by the, um, the packing district, which is no longer there. It's called Tribeca now. And he used to get the best steaks. And we, he was a great cook. So, guys, try this recipe. If you have steak, if you, um, you could do it, I think, with pork chops. But, or you can do it with a skirt steak. But I would do it this way. Okay? All right. Thank you, guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please post them below. And please subscribe to my channel because I always have other videos coming in. Thank you. Bye.